What up, hip hop heads? It's your boy B here from uh, Massive EXT. Um, with me, I have today uh, Xavier. He's an up and coming artist. Dude's pretty hot. Dude, dude's got some bars. Um, I'm just gonna do what I usually do, man, and um, you know, just just ask questions and uh, get down to who he is and why he does what he does. So, uh, first off, man, go ahead and tell him where you're from and uh, if you have a rap name, what's your rap name? Uh, Alright, well, uh, I go by Zay Zay it's, a, it's more of a nickname It's not really a rap name that I chose for myself But uh, I'm coming from uh, Greenbrier County, West Virginia Originally, I'm a saint of Milwaukee Up in the 414, Wisconsin area But uh, I relocated down here And now I'm just trying to get out of here And represent this place And trying to show them that we got talent coming out of the mountains uh, if I had to, if, I, if, if uh, somebody were to ask you why you do music, um, what makes your music, you know, different? Why, why should people listen to what you present? Shit, I just think it's because when the things I talk about in my music, I I talk about from personal experiences and and things I go through with my own life and with what I've seen other people go through. So it's like. Uh, it's just real like I, I don't talk about things I don't have I don't talk about all the money and all the cars and all the fame all that shit that nobody really cares about like the TV scene like I I just talk about real life man try to keep it real uh, I've noticed in couple in a couple of your songs and I don't know if this is uh if this is just you you know just spitting or if it has anything to do but uh it seems like it seems like you're making like diss tracks or something. Is there is there like a reason for that? Is there like somebody who just <laughs> turned, fucked you the wrong way or something? <laughs> well, it, it was just there was this dude that uh, I, I went to high school with, and we 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 were kind of friends. Like we had a couple classes together, whatever, whatever. But um, eventually, like after we graduated and everything, like. I don't know, he just keeps running his mouth for some reason, like, he just started spreading rumors about me to people that I know that I, like, that are really close to me, and just thinking that he could get away with saying anything, and messaging me on Facebook, and then blocking me, and then all, just bitch stuff like that, and saying that I wasn't gonna amount to be, uh, being a rapper, or anything good like that. So, I mean, I, I recorded one diss track for him. It's called Rest in Peace, Honey Smacks. It, it, you can find it on YouTube, SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, I, I checked but, uh, that. Uh, you posted uh, another video here recently, but it was just like a video. It wasn't like, you know, you laying the track down. It was just, you know, how you uh, kind of give the people a sneak peek of what you're, what you're going to do. Um, and, and you you just, it kind of kind of made me wonder because you said some things that made me go like, damn, somebody really fucking... Piss them off, yeah, shit. Like, he, he, yeah, he came at me on some per on a, like a personal level, talking about my mother and just uh, uh, bringing up my race into it and it, it just stuff that I I don't go for. Like I I'm not gonna be disrespected like that, and I'm not gonna sit down and let somebody think they're gonna walk all over me and then get away with it. So I mean, instead of taking some action that could get me, you know, in trouble or like thrown in jail possibly, or, you know, like some crazy shit. You know, uh, like just react how I know how to react, and that's through music. Is he in the is he in the music scene too? Like that could have a part of it. Uh, I've had situations I, where you know somebody, like uh, when I started out in music, I I I, I kind of sucked, but I, I started out. You know, everybody starts out from somewhere, and uh, all of oh, a sudden yeah. I started getting all this this fucking hate because I wasn't the only person, you know, rapping. And uh, that can cause You're issues. Off, dude. Oh, can you? It, it might be on your side, man. I'm using the uh, internet. I'm not using a phone. Uh, oh, well, then it's probably mine. I'm using a landline. But uh, I didn't hear just like part of that. Oh, I, I like, said, I said uh, in the music, in music, like when you start actually doing something with hip hop, people start, you know, just getting their jimmies rustled for some reason. It's it's very fucking common. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it has something to do with publicity and um, the fact that I don't know, if the dude's in the music scene, it's probably, you know, publicity. That's the only thing I could think about it. But but uh to me it's just like people just crave like they 
everybody cra- everybody craves success. Everybody wants to be successful in what they do or what they like to do. But to me, like, I don't know, the, the dude that scratched me the wrong way, like, he just, he went about it all wrong. Like, even if it, even if it is because, like, I'm starting to be a little successful with my music, like, it doesn't mean that he needs to try to trample all over me and think that it's going to get him a one-up in the scene or something because, I mean, I'm nobody. Like, I'm just a dude, come, like, trying to write music and trying to help other people through their life with what I got to say, like... I'm just, I'm another Tom, Dick, and Harry in the crowd, you know what I mean? Like, but... It, um, yeah, man, uh, just, just like, some some tips. Um, and I, I ain't one to give tips, man. I'm not some fucking Drake, uh, Grammy-winning motherfucker. But I've, I talk with real big hip-hop heads who've told me this. The only, the only person that's gonna doubt you is you, man. And... Uh, when you you, you have oh, to yeah, no. you, you have to go hard and you have to stay confident. At times, you know you 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 feel like you you don't ever want to be just a regular person. Now that being said, you want to be a regular person to your fans, uh, communication wise, and and you know you don't want to f- like put them under or make them feel like you know you're some rich superior. King or some shit like that, because I don't think yeah. fans take take appreciation of that. But when it comes to the competition and rappers, you you wanna you wanna make sure they know, you know that you they, ain't you ain't you ain't average. Greater. Yeah, you ain't average. Yeah, they, and yeah, I can understand what you're coming from. Um, what what's your definition of success? Because you mentioned success. Like, what what what's success to you? Well, when. I, to me, when when I feel like I'm successful, I mean, it, it'll be like I mean, when you're an artist, like coming from where I'm coming from, like having to start out with not that many fans and like have to build up your fan base like very slowly, just because of like the the things that are available to network with and everything like that. Uh, it's just I feel like like I I take pride on my little wins. Like, I I feel like, even though I'm not sitting in a mansion right now, like, I, I wrote, like, my track Soul Search, and I feel like that was a success. Like, that was one of the best songs that I've written and recorded since I started writing and recording things. So, like, that to me is success in itself. But, I mean, on a higher note, like, success for me will be one day, like, being able to to put my little sisters through college, like being able to give them that, that kind of money or being able to just putting a smile on their face, like helping my mother pay her bills, help, like just helping my family is the reason why I want to do it all, really, and help the people I love and care about. Takes a takes and 110% just, grind, man, and it's, oh, it's yeah, tough. Definitely. It's tough, and I, I, I'll say it. I'll say it again, as I said before. Uh, people come into hip-hop way too often, and automatically expect to be greatness and they automatically expect it to be easy and given to them but because hip-hop has become so nationally known so globally known i mean there's people all the way in africa to the middle east to uk to to georgia you know to where you're at to where i'm at who knows about hip-hop and it when it first started out, it wasn't like that. So yes, it was a lot easier to get into. But this is no longer just some dudes deciding to, to do something with music. It's no longer just the music genre. I kind of look at it as it's now become a sport. You know, it's become a a, a national and global sport. And it's because oh, it's yeah, competition. Oh yeah, you got everybody trying to cut. Yeah, you got everybody trying to be number one. Yeah. Yeah, like, and everybody everybody aching for the top spot, like aching to be looked at by everybody, aching to be loved, and aching to just to have that dream come true. But that being but, said, that being said, is that most people automatically assume that they're just like success and fame is the other side of the river, right? And what I mean by that is that they see all these mainstream artists just throwing money around and they think i've got to get to that point to be successful and to 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 have money that's not the case 
Yeah. Okay, you you no, don't no. you don't even have Definitely. to get radio play to be successful. I mean, have you ever heard Hobson's song on the radio? Really? Um, I, I mean, no, not really. Like, but I mean, that dude, mainstream. that dude radio, is making no. money, uh, right? He's making lots yeah. of money from iTunes and everything else, and he's got just just as much money, or, or even more than than <laughs> some of these mainstream rappers, right? So that's what I'm saying is that like you don't even have to get all radio play, all sponsored, and 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 plastered on MTV and and plastered on BET and and all that shit to be you know, to, to, to be successful or even to be famous. It just takes, it takes uh, commitment and admiration to your fans and it, it takes loyalty to, to your music and people yeah, are going to constantly, the whole, to the whole process. Yeah. And, and they're going to, uh, I'm going to tell you, man, and you've probably experienced this already. They're going to put you down any way they can because that's just less competition for them to worry about. And if they can put you down and put you out, and they ain't got to worry about another dude taking their spot, you know. There's there's artists like me who are, who are open to change and who are open to collaboration and who are trying to push artists like you and art and other artists, you know, not 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 ahead of me, but just trying to get them spotlight so people know that there is other music besides what they're hearing on the radio. There is other music besides what's being presented to them and fed to them, okay? And that's, oh yeah. That that that's just the goal. Um, to me, it's like there's, I mean, it's just that there's so there's so much hit. Jeez, like there there's like so many rappers like coming from Team Backpack, from like Strange Music, just like complete underground. Like they're just coming out of nowhere and killing it. They're just straight killing everything. Like, so, it, I don't know. It's just, I'm getting mixed up. With yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, no it's up. cool. I, I was going to ask another question. So, that being said, you know, you've already said, you know, you, you've already said, I'm an artist. I make tracks. That's that's evident. You can go. You can check them out. I'll, don't worry. I'll mention links at the end of this interview where people can go and check your shit. Are you, like, signed to anything? Do you have, like, a group? Or is it just, you know, you're going solo and so you can kind of find well, where you fit? Originally, I originally popped up, like, I originally started a, a group. It was me and a couple other dudes. It was one of my, one of my really close friends uh, that I've grown up with, like, writing with. He was the only, one of the only dudes around my area that, like, wrote or, like, rapped or anything like that. And uh, it was me, him, and a couple other dudes. We we went by Mindfuck DNT. We a couple of us still like throw it up in our song, like tag it in our songs sometimes, and like just yell it out. But like we kind of broke that off, and everybody's gone solo. So pretty much, yeah, I've been I've been riding solo ever since. But I still like have a team of people that like I like network with and stuff like that. Uh, Sky Music Group. I'm actually gonna be featured on the Sky Music Group and Underground on Top for uh, Forever Volume Two that drops later on tonight. I think around 11. Uh, but uh, I've been trying to get more involved with uh, SMG. Uh, that's about it. SMG and Underground on Top and trying to get in there. Yeah. Um... Just hoping that they can help me out a little bit, build a fan base. That they've been helping me out a lot so far <laughs> since I've been following them, and it's been a minute. I've seen their page like I was one of the bottom numbers. Like I, I watched their page like shoot up in numbers. Like I was one of the original, like down in the lower numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Uh, it's uh, I think people like got the formula wrong on how to promote their shit. Um, doing shit like what you're doing is, is is the right, pretty much the right formula. At least in my opinion, it's all based on your point of view. Most rappers, what they do nowadays that I find is they just like tag music in any music group uh, they can. Uh, but they like they take their music and they'll put it in any group site they can. 
and uh, it, it gets a bit it gets a bit annoying and kind of like generic. Yeah, like spam, um, man. Yeah, they like spam and. And I I can't lie. Spam. I mean, I, I've posted yeah. my links in a couple promotion groups, but I I don't like. Oh yeah, like I do that too sometimes, but like I don't like get on people's other people's posts where they're trying to get views and post my links without even checking out their shit. Like, I, that that's disrespectful to me. Like don't like this person is trying to get some shine they're trying to get a couple plays here trying to get some feedback and you're really going to jump on their comments and just leave your links like like you're some big shit like <laughs> like you, you don't need to take the time to check them out and show your support too yeah so it's like, but um ca- collaboration networking all that shit is is the bread and butter of getting up in the numbers man and uh you're, you're doing it right. I think that if more artists collaborated and more artists found smaller groups rather than trying to go for the big fish, you know, start off with the the smaller the, the smaller groups and then kind of and kind of either worked with that group until they grew or you know just uh, work with that group until you know they hopefully they, they get their foot in the door. Yeah, until you know they got their foot in the door or they got too big for that you know pond. And they needed to move on. It's some people find that kind of disrespectful, and even coming out of my mouth, I'm like, eh, that kind of sounds a bit assholeish. But that's how music works. People get people get too big, you know, for it's certain 75%. things. I feel like hip hop is just seventy five percent business. Like you gotta you gotta have some business skills. You gotta know how to talk to people. You gotta know how to like just relate and. I don't know. You you can't come off like a dick to <laughs> to people you're trying to win over. You know what I mean? So, it it is business. It is business. It's a lot. It's a lot of business. Um, it's but sad it, that it's it an turned inter- into that though. Like it, well, it, it used it, to not be all business. It, it used to be like this is for fun. Like that. This is just because we love it. Well, here's the and, here, here's what I think the the misconception is. It is fun. It is it is it is really fun. And the reason why it's become so much business is because it's people think, oh, because it's so big, it's now just this, you know, industry. It's this business, and it's become like that. But really, it's 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 with that with anything you do that you love doing that you present to the public. You are no longer just an artist when you present it to large amounts of people, but you are now an entertainer, and what you say entertains people and. They they like hearing that, so that's that's when the business comes in. But it, if you're thinking anything could be like, anything could be business. Uh, mixing a track, business. Working hard, doing the odd libs, business. Making the beat, business. I mean, but if if you're talking like legal business, yeah, yeah, hip hop's become more legal than what it used to be. It's more restricted and. Uh, and more like, you know, confined than what it used to be. It, it used has to more be. rules. It has more rules and 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 boundaries than it used to. Yeah, it used to be just an art, and it's hard to can control art. You know, it's hard to turn art into a product. It's it's nearly impossible with stuff like paintings and stuff like that. But they managed to do it with hip hop so easily because, uh, I mean, people just just rap rap the same shit and it's easy to recycle it and throw it out i mentioned this in the status i said kids are gonna keep listening to this shit because people say it's cool and if if tmz vez and and all these industry people and and television programs say this is hip and this is cool they're gonna listen to it because that's what they're being told it's hip and cool and you yep. know, and they're they're on TV, you know, but it's just a box <laughs> with a screen on it. You don't have to go by everything the TV says. If the TV said hey, it's cool now to jump off a bridge and break your fucking neck, you don't go jumping off bridges. The fuck, oh, hell no. <laughs> shit. But it's yeah. just nobody nobody looks underground anymore. I mean, underground's becoming so big that I I don't even know if feel- as an artist if I even want to be a part of the mainstream because underground has so many so it has so much more to offer and just so much it just has so much and there's so many respectable artists who love this music and even though even though they do business 
just as well as the mainstream artists, they are so grateful for what they have. He, even if they yeah. talked about bitches in every song, you meet them in person, and they're just so grateful for being able to have an audience. And Yeah, mad humble. And just, you know, they're just happy they got heard for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. to me, the... Uh, to me, the underground is the new mainstream. Like it, I feel like the underground is becoming more and more. Like it's building up to where, like, there's more underground artists more than like mainstream artists now. Like, I, there's friends that like I went to high school with that used to like bump fucking Lil Wayne every day and like go to school and just like be listening to Drake in the hallway, fucking blaring it and shit. And like now they're like. Fuck Young Money, like, they're, they're talking about, like, artists from Strange Music, and they're talking about, like, Team Backpack, like, A1, or, like, Recognize, or, like, people with a message, like, they're actually listening to real music, like, and they're actually finding out that other people can relate to them. And now, so, the big, the big thing mean, for that, man, is just the internet, and uh, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we have... You know, programs such as Massive EXT, the, the one that I'm interviewing you on right now. Has, oh, yeah, 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 it yeah, provides yeah. so much music, and it allows people to be like, you know what, I, I've never heard this before, and uh, I'm going to check this artist out, or, oh, wow, you know, there is different music out there. There's so... Yeah, you might be shocked by, like, who comes out with, like, a really good fucking track, like, yeah. something that just hits you. Yeah, and, and there's, like, so... The, the greatest thing about hip-hop is there is nothing... I, I can't even think of anything you can't fuse it with. You could fuse it with anything, and, and some of it may sound whack, but you could still fuse it with anything. House music, uh, reggae, uh, fucking jazz, blues, bluegrass, country, rock, metal, death metal, screamo. Yeah. You can, you can fuse it with I experiment with so many di- Yeah, I experiment with so, like a bunch of different... I've been trying to, at least, like... You can go through, like, my tracks on SoundCloud, and you can see, like, some of the tracks have, like, like, blending, like, screams in it, and, like, it kind of sounds like if you transferred it to, like, a, like, a metal song, it would have, like, a breakdown in it, and it would, like, yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of, like, hip-hop can go into anything, like, hip-hop's just, I think it's just meant to be, like, it was just something that, like, it was designed by man to help the man, like, the humans get through like help us just <laughs> help us breathe a little bit better well music in general man it was coping mechanism but uh hip hop took it to another level that's for sure and god Definitely. bless new york for the origination of you know <laughs> bass and all that shit um but what i was gonna ask is uh if you could if you could work with any artists out there or sign with any music group out there, what, what would you sign with and who would you work with? Well, right now, honestly, like, I I would really enjoy getting in the studio and, like, just being able to write a nice verse for Jeff Turner. Jeff Turner has been a major, like, dude that's been on my list lately like he has been killing it like every track of his just like hits home with me uh jeff turner locksmith uh actually i really like i really it even though he's i mean everybody kind of knows of him in the underground lately but e i really i've been wanting to do some shit with either rapper like uh, me and him have talked about it before, like, before he even got, like, a little bit of a buzz. Like, we used to message back and forth talking about music a little bit, not really too much, but fucking, yeah, I'd like to get something eventually done with him, and I'm actually, I'm about to try to work something up with that, hopefully get a track out with him. But uh, as as far as signing goes, I, I, I don't really... <laughs> I wouldn't really sign to any label. I mean, I would, but it would de- it have to depend on like the stipulations and like I would I wouldn't want to sign like a phony deal like that would get me screwed or like that would it would make me look like a sellout because I'm not going to I'm not going to make my music into something it's not like I'm not going to try to be like persuade people that I'm something I'm not like so it, it it would all have to depend on like who's got the better deal and who's got the realest deal for me. 
the the most pra- like the most realistic and the most like the one that I feel I'd be most comfortable with. It's dope, man. That, that's a good mindset. Um, I, I've got to wrap this up, dude, because I've got a, a sort of a time limit on time limit on these things, and I've already got uh, some track cool. reviews to do and shit like that. But uh, it was great talking with you. You're a wise dude, man. I'll let everybody give their shout outs at the end of the interview, so you can go ahead and give your shout outs. And uh, if you want to mention any music links or anything like that, you go right ahead, dude. All right, well, uh, I appreciate Massive EXT for having me on the show. Uh, thanks for interviewing me. Um, it's been it's been a good talk. But uh, I'd like to give a shout-out to my dude, Sean Williams, over in Virginia, a.k.a. Badass Billy. That's my dude. We've been riding together since I started recording, and he, he's been killing it. Shout-out to him. Shout-out to... All my supporters and all my all my real fans, all my true friends and family that have been get helped me through. Uh, shout out to Sky Music Group and Underground on Top, fucking for that for, uh, Underground on Top Forever Volume Two coming out soon. Um, yeah, so much love, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, man. I'll see you later. All right, catch you later, bro. That was Xavier Georgia, also known as Zay Zay. You can check out his music at soundcloud.com slash Zay Zay 304. That's Z-A-Y-Z-A-Y 304 at soundcloud.com. I mean, he's got a whole bunch of tracks. I mean, just a whole list of them, different styles, a uh, different feeling to them. Um, he's got a couple diss tracks. One of them is Rest in Peace Honey Smacks, which is being played in the background of this interview, one of my favorites. Be sure to follow him on SoundCloud, check him out, and just give him some support. Dude's dope. Uh, Thanks for listening. I know I'll ramble a lot, but y'all are awesome. So, good looking out. Salutes. Peace out.